Hey guys, what's up? Take a look. So, ever since I had my uh, my F-250, this thing has always had a bad parasitic draw, and it's killed a couple sets of batteries. So, one of the things I wanted to do was install a permanent trickle float charger, and I bought some uh, genius stuff over here. Can't open this up with one hand here, but here I can. So this is actually a permanent. I want to be able to make this as seamless as possible, so I can just pull this out when I want to inside of the front of the car. So I'm going to drill a hole in the front bumper, so I can just plug in an extension cord in and out. So, all right. So I don't know if that's. Well, hopefully it has a cover, permanent cover. Okay, yeah, there it is. Per yeah, that's what I'm looking right there. So this is actually it's for a boat, uh, for a boat charger, the same concept for, as a boat charger. And then I got this small little genius charger. I don't think it does lithium too, but I don't have lithium batteries, but that's that's new I've never seen that. I actually do have other genius chargers, so I guess this will be sort of a review of this charger, but since I can't do I don't have any lithium batteries, but that's that's cool. So I can do wet gel. I'm going to mount this permanently inside in the uh, truck cabin, probably somewhere in here, next to my battery. And then because right now, like, I, I, well, sometimes I don't drive this truck for a week. And the problem is that this thing will be actually almost dead. It, it, that's actually what's part of the reason. If you watch my other videos, you, that's why it kind of killed my batteries. Is that if I don't have this thing permanently hooked to a flow charger, then it kills my batteries. And, uh, you know, the worst thing for a battery is to drain it. You know, and that's when sulfation builds up. So, let me, uh, I also bought another, another charger that uh, I'm going to re be returning. Because originally I thought, you know, this would, I bought a, ch a $15 charger on Amazon, but um, I was worried about the thing overcharging my batteries. So, I'll show you real quick. Alright, so here it is, the other charger I bought. So, like $15. This is 1.5 amp, but it just didn't seem as well constructed as the. Uh, you know, as the genius. I, I do have their genius chargers, so I know how they really they make their stuff. They make uh, good products. I'm gonna open this up real fast. All right, so take a look at this thing. So this is the G1100, but you can just tell it's so much uh, better constructed than the other cheapo one. And this thing's gonna live under a hood, so that's my concern. With like, if I wash my engine off, I need something that was gonna be waterproof, and I wanted something that was actually like look at look at the size of these cables. Uh oh. Hi, car. That's... Okay, cool. I can pull these cables off then. I thought, I thought it would come with a permanent. Uh, came with uh, screws to mount it. I guess what I'm looking for is clips that I can permanently mount the. Uh, battery but it looks like I can undo this thing right here so I might have to drill it out a little bit to get them on there but uh, all right so permanent flow charger and then I'm gonna put this right here actually one thing I noticed that I didn't like with this uh, I don't know, over here is that the uh, these aren't stainless. These will rust in two seconds. So this is supposed to be for a boat. I mean, that's a kind of an issue because it would rust in two seconds. You know, even just being exposed to the air, especially in like, a saltwater environment. So I'm gonna drill a hole for the bumper I'm thinking here. I originally thought I'd do it in the plastic, but sometimes I, I've actually forgot to take the flow charger off and pull out and rip, ripped cords out. So I'm gonna drill through the permanent metal here. And then when I'm done with this, if I ever sell the truck for some reason, I can hook it up to the uh, block heater. There's a block heater cord in there. Somewhere in there. Here it is. That's the block heater extension cord. So if I put it right there, it could double as a block heater in the future. Take a look. So 
So like I said, after I'm done with this, uh, ever sell this truck, I can just connect this to the block heater. But uh, yeah, like I said, I, I pulled out a few times and ripped my cord. I forgot to disconnect the uh, flow charger and uh, ripped out the cord. So hopefully this will help. And this will just, the cord will just yank out the front. Like I said, originally I was thinking I might put it here, but I was worried about this ripping off the bumper, the lower part of the bumper. So, all right, so I'm gonna mount the charger up there and I'll, I think I'm gonna put it right here. So I'm gonna have to move my audio amp fuse here. And uh, I'll do it there. All right. All right, so I got this thing installed. So now I gotta route these uh, power wires down. I'm gonna try to keep them around to the front where it stays cooler. Down to there, try to avoid the radiator. So I could probably fish it down there somewhere. All right, cool. All right, so I had the power router down here. There's a hole right there. Kind of see it around here. I'm probably like tight. Well, I guess you can't even see the wire. It goes up this way. And I wrap some electrical tape around it to get walkie water out. Just gonna push that down. On there. All right, now I'm gonna hook up the battery side. So I take these clips off here, and then I'm gonna try to mount it directly to that thing right there. So I'm gonna have to drill these holes out. But, uh, all right. All right, there it is mounted. Goes up. So let's plug this thing and see if it works. All right, let's check this out. I haven't hooked this thing up yet, so. So the theory behind this was it was just gonna pull out. See what mode it's on. Let's see mode. I make sure it's on 12 volt normal. The next one is like AGM and 6 volt and then lithium. Okay. Looks pretty low. That's kind of weird because I just had it on a charger. So this is actually going to be a slower charger, and that's kind of what I want because you know when you hook this up to a high power charger, like a high amperage charger, it generates a lot of gas, hydrogen gas. So you'll get like a lot of extra like uh, corrosion on your battery if you charge it really fast. So I wanted a, like a slower trickle charger, you know. So sometimes I've actually gone a month out driving this car, so this truck, and so yeah, I've actually, like I said before, a couple times I forgot twice. Actually, I even had some guy pull me over. And say, hey, you got a big core coming out of your car because I forgot to pull out, and it actually ripped the. Uh, like I had the charger inside the the bay there but it ripped the cord out and was just hanging dangling around so my theory is if I back out and I forget to unplug this then it's just gonna rip out the front of it so all right that's like a for a boat so all right you saw I did it cool there it is awesome <laughs>